Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon and welcome back to more Pokemon Colosseum. When the last episode we continued on our climb on Mount Battle. And today we're going into a new area. I think it's area 8 at this point. So things will start to get a lot more tough here. Are you prepared to lose? Area 8 starts with me. Here we come! So I'm expecting the trainers here to be a lot tougher now. Because when we encroached on area 8, they were getting around level 50. So that is around where my team is at the moment. I mean, I have already some Pokemon at level 55, so I'm definitely trying to get above that, but still, that is where we currently stand. Okay, I hate the Sunflora, so I'm gonna try and take that one out with Psychic. And Squaggly is gonna be a little bit hindered because of Earthquake not taking out... Um, Dirk there. Also the fact that we don't have the Soft Sand there anymore. Yeah, that was obvious. So Defense Curl, that's not gonna be that big of a deal. That's not that big of a deal. They took in the sunlight, that's dangerous. You know what, just Earthquake. I feel good enough that you're gonna take it out with Earthquake because that's not not very effective. And Dirk will be fine. Dirk can survive one Earthquake, right Dirk? It's not Dirk, so I still feel fine about Dirk. See, Dirk is fine. And there you go, the sunflower is also taken care of, so we're good! Nice job there, Dirk! Good job with pre-weakening everything, knocked out. Okay, good. And Pillow Swine. Okay, we're gonna go for Surf and Psychic on the knocked out. Because that seems to be the one that is more resilient. Special defense, well that's gonna help me with, oh dang it. Well okay, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna attack Squaggly, Squaggly does not, Squaggly doesn't care. But the special defense down helps me with Surf dealing more damage, sadly not enough though. And that's super effective against the Pillow Swine, that's gonna hurt Dirk I'm pretty sure. was more sketchy than I wanted it to be. Psychic, let's take out the knocked out because that's the thing that could take out Dirk right now. So there we go. Bye knocked out. Nicely done. And then Surf takes out the pillow swine and we're good. Surf away the pillow swine. Surf away. Bye. Ah, so close. Both of them are close to the level up, which is good to know. I accept this loss. Good, as you should, because you lost. The most splendid battle. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go to the next zone. Whenever and wherever it may be, I battle as if it were my last. Sounds a little bit sad and depressing. Man Chenek! Old Man Chenek! Survivor and Swallowed. Okay. So you're giving me a clear advantage in this fight. Okay, Dirk. We're gonna attack the Swallowed with Dirk first. Because that one I see to be more the job. It didn't would survive the earthquake. It did not survive the psychic, so we're good there. Good HP there for you, Squaggly. Go bad. Dang you! Of course you were gonna use a flying type next. Bite, dang it. That's gonna hurt. Okay, good. You're still fine. You're still fine, you're gonna hurt two Pokemon. One of them is the Survivor that is dead. Good. 
And the other one is Dirk. Who should survive this? At that stung. And it doesn't affect the stupid Golbat. Level up, that's good. Special attack goes up beautifully. Morning Sun? The uh, restores HP, the amount varies with the weather. I mean, yeah, over helping hand, why not? Why not? Cadabra. So, surf and psychic on the gold bed, please. Oh, okay, future side. Nobody cares about that too much. How is the Cadabra faster than the gold bed? Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Uh, so I love to take out. Yeah, I mean we're out with some weak Pokemon in that case, but doesn't matter too much. We're still fine. Surf. Blub. And blub. So Squaggly continue. Actually, Squaggly Earthquake, and you. I've been the goal bat. Exactly that. Ouch. Screw you. I'm gonna do the same thing though. Ah, come on. Wing attack. Dang it. But the earthquake should deal some good damage to the Abra. Kadabra, whatever. There you go, one gone, and levitate and doesn't hit. So surf and side beam again. Take it out, Soella! I wish your special attack would be a little bit stronger. There we go. That's the one thing that we're missing with you, Soella, it's just a bit more special attack. You're a tough you. I am tough, I. A battle waged in earnest feels grand even when it ends in a loss. Naturally, a win would feel much better. Sure. Let's go on. Hello then. Guy, are you okay? It's okay if you want to give up. I'm fine. My Pokemon get healed every time I have a fight, so... I'm good. The only reason why Dirk got knocked out was because I knocked it out, so whatever, Sneasel. Okay, I don't really have anything good here. So just that, and we can take out the Glygar, probably no problem. Yeah, you make yourself fast. Slash, yeah, those are fast Pokemon, that's the only downside there. Of course you were gonna get a crit with that. Too bad for you. I'm going to take you out right now. Aren't you poison type as well? Are you ground flying only? I thought you were poison. It's just because you look like a stupid flying scorpion. That I always assume you're poison, I think. Okay, what's next? Hit him on top. Okay. Nah. Okay, well the good thing is both of them use special attack right now, so it doesn't matter. Slash, if that also crits, I would have been super pissed. Why are you faster? I forgot that I gave Dirk the matchup races there for a whole second. Still. I'm upset. -y. Take out that hit him on top. There you go. What's the next thing that you're gonna send out? Grumpig. Oh god. Well, that's obnoxious. So now in this situation I really don't have anything that's super effective against anything here. 
So you're gonna continue with that and I can use Swift, it does not matter. Okay, magic code. You're still alive, Dirk. Swift. Well, magic code will reflect Surf back, I guess. Just no thought about that. That should knock back Surf, right? No, it didn't? Well, then we're good. Bye, Dirk. I knew that you were gonna get knocked out there. It's fine, though. Don't worry. So, we're gonna take Suel out for that. So, for the fights, are not that big of a deal. They're a little bit frustrating, but easy enough to deal with. Why would you do that, you idiot? What would you have done? Sure. It was, that was your smart choice there. You just wanted to make sure that one Pokemon guaranteed goes down. And you thought it would be so dumb to send something out that's weak to anything that you have on the field. And you know what? Screw you. Shadow Ball. Let's throw that ball in its face. Bye! Also now realize that Earthquake wouldn't have done as much damage because our attacks that got lowered once! 52. Nice. Overall, pretty nice. Map, map. I give up! Yeah. As you should, for assuming that I'm the one that needs help. Idiot. You didn't even need to think about giving up, did you? No, I didn't. Volcano here is really sketchy how it's smoking from every angle. I might not look it, but I'm one for ga uh, gaining real experience in battle. I uh, toughened up my party through field work. What do you mean with field work? What do you mean with field work, Ribek? Muscarine and Mighty Yina. Uh, the one thing that I definitely hate about that is again a dark type Pokemon. And my text that goes down. Two times! There's no reason to ever use Earthquake in this fight. Because both of them have intimidated. I hate this so much. I mean, a good setup. I give you that, a good setup. If I was someone that was gonna go in there with only physical fighters, kudos. You really just uh, made sure that I'm not gonna be good with my attack there. Too bad for you, my po two Pokemon will use a special attack. And too bad for me that Dirk is about to die. So I'm gonna go dead again, Masquerade, you're gonna get knocked out. Actually, I should have used Swift in that situation. So that I also could have dealt some damage to the Myena. Stantler, okay. And more Intimidate! Wow! So that's the field research that you've done. Just. How to just make sure that nothing can attack me physically. That's what your field research entails. So I'll let you go out. You're still a little bit on the danger zone though. Because of the Madina. But overall I don't feel too threatened. But this is where it starts with like, oh we're just gonna make sure you're never gonna be able to use a certain uh, something like normal attacks they're essentially gone squaggly shouldn't even think about using earthquake at this point because it would do nothing special defense down good stomp you're not gonna attack so Ella with that so whatever bite you're also gonna do for yep I mean why would you go for something else fight the butcher <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, 
secondary effects of attacks are so highly boosted up in this game series. Like, how often do you get secondary effects in a normal Pokemon game compared to what the crud's going on here? And again, attacks that down. Like, that's 100% all uh, this trainer does is just attacks that down. Text that down. And it just with sending out their Pokemon, there's nothing else even done yet. It's just, okay, I'm sending out my Pokemon and you can't do anything anymore. Anyway, Psybeam that Grand Bill because... I mean, the Stantler probably will go down with the Surf, but the Grand Bill? Eh, most likely not. Uh, don't flinch again, Squaggly. For oh, sake! Just gonna stick to my guns. There you go. And here you stop again! Guess what? Squaggly flippin' surf finally! Something I was gonna take up the Standler with Suella beforehand, that's why I attacked it like that. Lick? Probably Suella if I had to guess. Paralyzed, okay whatever. You're the last one left, I'm gonna use Surf and the thing is done. But seriously, what an obnoxious team build you have there. Not like it did a lot, Dirk is the only one that went down because of that. Good job, Soella. I love seeing a special attack grow because that's what you need. I guess we were lacking in field work still. Yeah, your team is frustrating, I give you that. If you meet somewhere, can I get you to help me help with my field work? You should focus on more than just fieldwork, but sure. Hello there, you're the halfway point. My Pokemon and I have ample base stamina. We won't lose if we get into an extended battle. Let's see what you mean with extended battle. Let's see if you mean the rest of the episode battle or just like a long battle. Okay, lantern. And dust clubs. I'm gonna go for earthquake and gonna try to take out the lantern first. I'm gonna double down on that. The dust clubs will be a problem regardless, but not a problem that I'm not able to take out. It wasn't too bad. Earthquake, let's go! Critical hit, there are the dust clubs. Okay, so much to that will be a problem. And that's super effective. Well, maybe I should have attacked the dust clubs in that case. What's next? Skarmory. That's obnoxious. Shadow Punch. Dirk, that might be it for you. Yep. Yeah. But that was calculated. So, so Ella, you go out there. I cannot use Earthquake to take out the Skarmory is the one thing. So I'm gonna use Surf. I'm gonna use Shadow Ball and the Dust Clops. Just making sure that that thing's knocked out. Because I don't wanna have the Dust Clops take out So Ella with a Ghost type move, so. Let's deal with that first. Good, we're getting there, Squaggly. What's your next one? A Vile Blue. Okay, I can work with that actually. Skarmory flew high up into the air. Obnoxious, but sure. So the Skarmory is gonna be annoying as is. So I'm gonna use Earthquake and Psybeam to make sure that I'm gonna take out the Vile Bloom here. Because that will not be enough, even though it's super effective. 
you used fly on Squaggly, sure And now we use earthquake and it will only hit one Pokemon that's the Valplume And it's not enough Doesn't affect and left hit Mega Drain, sure I, That's the thing that I thought was gonna happen here I'm gonna go for yeah, the double down. I want to make sure that it's done. I'm imagining the Skarmory is gonna try and fly again. That's what I imagine the Skarmory will try and do. Confused? You could have done it beforehand. Ah, uh, but sure. Anyway. Bye. A little twitch there. Levitate and you're up in the air. Oh, now it's flying. So, since I don't want you to go down, because I'm training up right now. There you go, you get that. And you try to confuse that thing. I forgot that you're faster than this gamma, which doesn't make sense to me at all, but whatever. So I'm gonna go for Amnesia with you and we're gonna try to confuse that thing because that way flying is a little bit more difficult for it in the long run. You're confused, you're gonna fly up into the air again. Nope, you're gonna stand right where you are. Let's go, special defense sharply. Oh yeah, that's only special defense. Could put it to sleep, but anyway, let's surf. And Shadow Ball, since I have to stab with that. Nah, that doesn't do a lot for me. Come on, hit yourself. Oh, Steel Wing! Ow. Let's go surfing! So that dealt a good chunk of damage. Let's try Psy Beam. Bye, bye, bye. Also not very effective, yeah. It snapped out of the confusion and it flew up high. Well, doesn't matter what I do because I will not hit you. Shadow Sneak would be an amazing move right about now. Why you attack? Uh, sure. Anyway, that should take you out. Nice. Total teeny. Nice EXP there. Map, map. I hope we get whip whipped so quickly. Wiped. Whipped. Anyway. It's imperative that we train for high speed battling next. I mean, you have a fast Pokemon. That's not fast, which is interesting. Anyway, I constantly run simulations of Pokemon battles. I'll be perfect in the real battle. If you say so, you're probably gonna be... Maybe the last trainer that we take on here today. Darius. Lady and Breloom. I hate Breloom. But, but advantage actually, because Breloom is a fighting type. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with Surf and Psychic to Breloom. Hail, not the biggest fan of that, but sure. At this point the Pokemon of our opponents are a problem with level 54 and such. But we'll be able to deal with that as well. Swallow. Okay, you will be hit by the hail, so I'm fine with that. Glalie was pure ice, right? I think there was nothing else to Glalie. That's uh, Frostlass that also has the ghost type, if I'm not mistaken. Boy, this is gonna take forever. Yes, this is probably gonna going to be the final uh, trainer that we're gonna do for today because of hail. So we're gonna start with Surf, Psychic, 
the Glalie. Let's see that. Agility. Sure, make yourself faster. See if I doth care. Crunch? Oh. You'll be fine, right? Hey, yeah, you're fine, actually. Okay, good. Perfect. That should just be enough to, for Surf to take it out. See? Yep. I mean, the Swallow will still be standing. That's the only downside that we have there. But not for long. What's your last Pokemon, buddy? It's a Raiden! Hey! Also, everyone's gonna get hit by the hail now, so... Buckle up, everyone! This is gonna take some sweet time here. And then we also have the Raiden. Boy, let's surf, and I'm also gonna psychic that facade. You're gonna facade? a little bit close for comfort. Let's go. Wow! I was not expecting that to be enough to take it out. Well, anyway. Surf by Swallow. And there it goes. Only one level left. That's some good level ups there. Map map. You were perfect. I was. Thank you. Okay, we actually have time. We're still gonna do one more trainer in this episode before we finish this off. I can't figure figure it out. If things went exactly as per my simulation, things would have been perfect. Yeah, but things never go as you expect them, so suck it up. Hello them. Trainers who love their Pokemon should pump up their physiques too. Should they? I don't 100% get why, but sure. Sure. You're weird. I give you that. You're weird and I give you that. Okay, my text that's gonna go down. Again! Because of Intimidate. Again, good that I don't have a team that really wants um, attack stats. Okay, the Grand Bull probably is taken care of already. But let's see. I hope Surf does enough there. Surf is at least good for Matang. Yep, Grand Bull taken care of. That's good. Bye! You lowered my attack stat for nothing! Which I'm happy about. Jump bluff, I hate that. Iron defense. You're making sure that I cannot attack you physically, which... Is good. I don't... Leech seed. Oh boy. Of course it was squaggly. Let's see that we can take out the jump bluff as fast as possible. Surf will not be enough there. If it would be enough, I would be rather surprised. Metal Claw. Hoping that your attack stat goes up, eh? A leech seed is a problem. Surf. Please be faster this time. Okay, you're trying to get help from just every angle. So you really just don't want to go down, which... Fair. I still hate you for that. And you're gonna... Going down now. So who's ever gonna come out after you is the one that's gonna benefit from the leech seat now. Which might be the more scary thing here. It's a Satu, so okay, that's not the problem. So your setup is not necessarily something I need to concern myself with. Yeah, because that dealt some decent damage at Pursuit. That's gonna hurt Dirk, pretty sure. 
Why wouldn't it be turned? It's gonna go, yep, towards Exatu. Oh boy, that's gonna take some sweet time here. And Zatu's fully healed. So let's go. Uh, let's just try and future side. Oh boy, that's gonna suck. Let's see. That was good. For not very effective, that was good. Let's see. That should take out the Matang. Perfect. So that was gorgeous. And also the Satu. Both of which I'm really happy with. So that was some rather good combo right there. And you get a nice setup. Didn't work out for you. Nothing doing. Nothing doing? Huh? Don't get it. Maybe it isn't enough to get a pumped up physique. It isn't. But let me tell you. This is the end of the episode. So we're gonna have plenty of time to reflect on that. So let's just sit down together and talk everything through. I mean. Why do you wanna have a pumped up physique? Where does this urge come from? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't just have to do with a Pokemon. There's probably something deeper behind all of that.